What's up guys, it's Preet's coming back to the brand new Binding of Isaac episode today. We are back with the Intrigue going for win number 60, I think four in a row, I don't even know. But anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video, get some gaming going, and have a little bit of fun. Uh, I mean, yesterday's run, really good. I don't even remember what happened in yesterday's run. But yeah, today is number 64. We're doing Eden on hard mode, as per usual. And we start... With we start with 2020, which I love 2020, but our damage is horrendous and our tier rate's really bad. Um, honestly, I'll play with Ringworm for a little bit. The seed for the today is 87 DY P3 FK. And we're just gonna see how this goes. And hopefully we don't have any more like weird glitches with my camera. It's kind of annoying. And you guys could definitely see that like some people were like, dang, there was like some weird like it started glitching out. My issue is like if I'm looking at the game, I'm not gonna like look over to my side to like see my like my stream. And I, it doesn't like catch my eye when it like when my video flickers at all, so it's too bad. Uh, but we do also. I just realized we kind of started with like bad health, but good health for an XL floor. So we'll definitely get the devil deal as long as we don't die, which is the plan. Hal stasis is awesome. We will shoot all the fires. I mean, we look really cool. And the only reason why I'm taking uh, ringworm, whatever it's called, is because it does give us that tiny tears up that we really kind of need right now. And also gives us spectral damage, which is awesome. And honestly, I do actually like uh, Worm Friend. Worm Friend was very useful in the run that I uploaded today as a stream highlight. It can actually hold down Delirium whenever you're Tainted Maggie, which makes it easier to hit them. But today we're not Tainted Maggie, so that means it's not going to be an easier time. Uh, but I'm going to come up here, just use my gassiness to uh, kill the spider sack. And Hal's Stasis is actually such a good item, it is very top tier. I mean, it just does so much damage in the early floors. If you know how to dodge enemies, if you know how to just like tra like have the enemies trail behind you, like you'll see that Hal Stasis kind of goes in like goes in the direction away from where you're running. So like it's bigger behind me, and so like if you if you are walking backwards, you kind of have a decent sized area for them to walk in. Well, let's see how much money I can get real quick. We're not gonna take this active item that I have. We're probably gonna give it up as soon as possible. I don't think it's ever worth. I don't think I've ever actually used it for its intended purpose. I don't think I've ever used it for any purpose, actually. So, that's just how it is. I don't think it's a good item. Nothing wrong with it, exactly. Just, I don't want to waste my money. But who, some people might. And health up is huge for us, actually. Any health up that we can get is awesome. I feel like it was kind of a smart idea for us to use uh, our bomb on the Tinted Rock. I feel like it's always a decent idea. Maybe we should have tried to find the secret room. Who knows? But so far, I'm, I like the decision I've made, and Hal Stasis is going to save us. Like, right here, if we can just get close enough to certain enemies, we can just do a lot of damage. And hopefully, we can find the shop real quick, because we have so much money. If we get an early, early, like, black candle or something, just to give us that little extra health or something that can help us out, that's going to be awesome. Maybe even getting, like, a, a present would be awesome. Birthright would be sick. We got Birthright yesterday. Oh, yeah, yesterday was the uh, Venus run. Forgot about that. Yesterday was the Birthright Venus run. It was good. It was a good run. Uh, oh, it was also where we had Pop. Okay, yeah, Pop was yesterday. Well, don't ask how I forget what runs I had yesterday. It's hey, it's. I don't know. I'm. I don't. I just don't. I don't process it enough. I'm like, oh, well, that's done. Don't need to think about that. In this room, I always take damage in this room. Early in runs, I feel like I take damage in this room more than any other room. It's kind of sucky, uh, but this is actually good. You know what? Um, I don't, honestly, I don't think we need that. I don't think treasure map helps us that much because we're not going for anything specific, but world is awesome because it does give us a crawl space. Crawl space can have a black market. It can have an item or it can have a chest and coins, which is actually the worst possible setup we could get out here. That's all good. We do get flies now from our <laughs> stupid rotten heart. Bad news is we only get flies that do four whole damage. So let's uh, blow this up. See if we can maybe get some good stuff. Uh, if you ever blow up this rock right here, uh, if you ever try to blow this up, if you put it too close to the door, it won't blow up this rock right here. So you want to make sure that you place the, the bomb all the way to the left. But it's actually very sick that we got the little damage up and the tier rate up. Makes us just that much stronger. And honestly, I, this like swirly worm, whatever it's called, really isn't that bad. It's kind of hype. I feel like it's doing a lot more good than bad. And just making my life pretty easy. Just because the little bit of a tier rate up is huge. I mean, any tier rate up is awesome. We are at three tier rate. And our damage is almost at base tier rate. Or base damage. We're at over base tier rate right now, which is awesome. If we dropped the trinket, we would not be at base tier rate. 
And there we go. We get the worst, pretty much worst possible. I will say worst possible. Um, boss item. Justice. You know what? That's not that bad. That could have been a full soul heart, which would have been better. Um, but honestly, I think I might. I think I'm gonna drop wiggle or swirly worm, whatever it's called. What is it even called? Let's like just check it so I can call it ringworm. I did call it the right thing first. I'm probably gonna take Maggie's faith because Maggie's faith just lets me have more health. It's just a consistent source of soul hearts or eternal hearts, and I should be like, I mean, I should not be losing red heart health anytime soon. We have a really stupid amount of uh stupid amount of soul hearts for this early in a run so yeah i'm definitely gonna take it we do lose our spectral tears we also lose our 0.4 tiers up but now i mean we're doing so, we're doing good now we can hit our shots easier our life's easier and one thing that's cool is the next floor is gonna have a 66 percent chance angel deal which is higher than you usually would have on the floor three but that's because we'd had an xl floor so xl floors in the very beginning are actually awesome and guess what i'm going all path because i like all path honestly all path's not too bad I'll say the bosses are the worst part about it. But yeah, as you see, 67% chance, which is crazy. I mean, it honestly, XL floors in the very beginning are kind, they kind of carry. They're really good. They're really good. I really feel like there's a secret room right there. There still could be, but who knows? And honestly, 2020, like, I don't know. So lots of people like have this like weird idea that can join, triple shot, quad shot like our bad items like i can understand quad shot and triple shot because they shoot in like a, a weird pattern so they don't all go the same way but with 2020 they're like oh it's a damage down but like look both our tiers go straight ahead if one tier hits an enemy they both should hit the enemy honestly probably um and never take the mystery item if the left item is awesome especially if it's bloody lust bloody lust is kind of like one of the best items we could get so i'm gonna take that and man, I don't know where this secret room could be. I mean, I know where it could be. I know like all the like a bunch of possibilities of where it could be. But the question is, where is it? Not where is it? Could it be? Where will it be? I really want. I really feel like it's right here. But at the same time, I wish it's right here. If it's right here, I'm be mad. Okay. Well, we just wasted two bombs. Listen, I feel like bombing for secret rooms is not a bad idea. And also, I'm not going mines. So, like, we don't need bombs right now since I'm not going to mines. But I will keep at least one bomb to make sure I have it to bomb for either secret room or a tinder rock. Plan C is not cool. And Broken Modem, I've said so many bad things about it in the past. And people always get so mad at me. So, I promise I, won't, I will not ever not take it. And also, Plan C is insane. 10 million damage, but it kills you. There's only one item. I think if you have Lazrags, you can actually use that and, like, win the boss fight because it doesn't take you out of the room. That's about it. Any other thing will, like, just kill you. So, it's interesting. Um, also, if you use Plan C on Delirium and pause during the glitches, the glitches still happen. I, I, if, I don't know if you guys see it. There's a video out there of a guy showing how to do it. And basically what happens is, like, whenever you beat Delirium, it goes, like, flashes with, like, a weird, like, glitchy screen. If you pause during that, that glitch still happens and, like, subsides. So then you unpause when it subsides and it goes back to normal, then it glitches again. And, like, time actually passes while you're pausing because you can't skip that time for some reason. So it's interesting. I don't know if that made any sense, but that's what happens. And, yeah, I kind of had a feeling that this was going to be the secret room only after I bombed the other rooms and, like, saw everything, but... That's awesome. Isaac's Tomb, not my favorite item ever. Uh, the reason I don't like it as much as some other uh, some other secret room items is because it does require you to have a key to open it. And, like, sure, a key is worth the price of getting, like, a single soul heart, but at the same time, or you can get, like, three soul hearts. It's good, but, like, I don't want to have to spend a key for something that I got. You know, the item doesn't really give me anything unless I have keys. Some, key some of them don't have keys. It sucks. But please angel deal no angel deal but at least we have a hundred percent chance on the next floor usually would not have a hundred percent chance on the fourth floor so that's cool for us our tier rate's better our health is better i mean we're just we're looking good we're looking very solid for this run we're gonna have all the red heart health because we pr we probably most likely won't lose all of our solar health in like a single floor it's so like taking red heart damage should not happen if we're playing correctly but you know what? I make stupid mistakes sometimes. It happens. And also, Isaac's Tomb kind of sucks. I'm going to be honest. I like it when it's good. I don't like it when it's bad. Like, trinkets? Some trinkets are good. But, like, those trinkets right there were not it. 
And this room just paid for itself with these. I feel like if you don't come into the, the vaults, you're kind of just playing yourself. And that's so sad. Also, our shot speed is really bad. I don't like this. But it is pretty sad that we got that tier rate down. Um, okay, what was I saying? I was saying you're playing yourself. I don't know. I'll, something plays yourself. I don't know what I was saying. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just want to get a new active item. Please give me active item. I need something decent. I need something fun. I mean, right now we're pretty fine. Like, I'm not really concerned about the run as is. We're going to have a lot of red heart health. So, we'll see how that goes. Now, right now we're just looking for the item room. And there are mushrooms in here. But guess what? I'm going to withhold from bombing them. By that, I mean I'm going to withhold from bombing all of them. Because I'm going to bomb at least two. So, you never know what you're going to get. And it could be any mushroom. It could have been those two. That could have been the other two. Yes. Which is why we also bombed those two. You never know. You never know. You never know. Okay. Now, you remember that time that I said we don't bomb mushrooms? Now, that's only... That's like an I before E type situation. And I don't know how the I before E thing works. So, I'm just taking that. We're just doing it. And I'll not go under two bombs. That's the rule that's in place. But look, I'm at three bombs. So that was fair game. Oh, come on. Come here. Come right here. Ooh, let's go. Please, 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 please. Let's go. We got all the money for free. Um, we do need to go to the item room. So that is going to happen at some point. Let's see. All we need is two more. We only need two more. Uh, what is it called? Syringes to get spun. So hopefully we can get spun. I just love spun. Spun is like one of the best transformations just because it's... It's consistent, something you get consistently, and it's just good, all good. No downgrades, it just gives you a damage up, and all the items are good that go with it. So let's take you, and Trinity Shield's not bad. I actually do like Trinity Shield quite a lot, um, but it does not help us for the single angel fight. Not exactly, I watch this, what a loser. But it makes it super easy to do stuff like Hush. So if we really wanted to do Hush, we could at this point. Also, I will always remind you guys that the purple fires can only shoot once per room. So this one's going to shoot at us in a second, most likely. But they can only shoot once per room, so you don't have to be worried after they shoot once. You can just go as close as you want, or close as you want to them. I'm really stuck on the idea of me saying you should... It's a waste not to something. I don't know. I'm going to say it's a waste not to blow, blow mushrooms. I know that's not what I'm saying, but that's what I'm thinking now. And Dreamcatcher... Ooh, maybe. Who knows? I did donate money, but who cares about money? You know what I'm saying? Who cares? What we like is booster pack. And we like you. Queen of Hearts is decent. Two of Diamonds is awesome. High Priestess is useless. Strength is not that good. And so our goal right now is, uh, honestly, we're going to take the Two of Diamonds with us and run with it. I know Dreamcatcher wouldn't be the worst, but it's also not like super crazy important for us. We don't need it. It's not required. I'm sitting with such bad posture right now. I have no clue where we are. Spider Baby. I do like Spider Baby. It's kind of weird. Spider Baby leads to like the Spider Baby mod. Or Sp Spider Baby Spider Baby transformation. It's kind of weird. Don't you think? Like, they're the same thing? Same name? What does that even mean? What are you talking about? Also, I do like Bloody Lust. I don't like taking damage, but Bloody Lust is awesome. The reason I would ever put Bloody Lust, like, low on a tier list, like, probably, like, in the A or B category, like, top of B, lowest of A, is because just any item that requires you to take damage is just not completely ideal. Because, like, ideally, you want a run where you're strong enough and you have enough skill to, like, dodge every attack, which, of course, there are some instances where you can avoid damage, and the more damage you have means the easier it is to avoid damage because you can just kill enemies faster. But I just don't like having to take damage to do stuff. But what's cool is we can use, uh, like, Blood and Nation machines. You can do all sorts of stuff. Also, I said it was, okay, there's no reason not to go into the vault. That's what I was saying earlier. That's what I was saying earlier. My bad. I was trying to think of it this whole time. Now I understand. But, yeah. We're doing good. Bloody Lust is, it's good. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing super, super in insane about it. 
overall i mean it, it's pretty awesome like especially in, like a delirium fight if you have like full health like at the end of it you're gonna have dumb amounts of health especially if you have damage multipliers it's awesome you can use blood donation machines you can use iv bag um to get rid of your red heart health and it's super awesome and you know what the fact that they gave us an item makes me happy and we do look how bad this is gonna be oh we have already the lowest possible shot speed i see how it is i wish that i don't know why that doesn't give you spectral tears for something that only gives you a shot speed down, it should. But honestly, I might just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take that with us. If we're already at like the lowest possible like shot speed, we might as well take it. Cause if we get something like Trisagon and we get any more shot speed ups, it's gonna make sure it just negates that. So right now we're looking for something. I don't know what we're looking for, but we're looking for it hard. Okay, good. Our shield is not doing too much right now. Any lob shots can go over the shield, which is kind of deceiving because you would think that, oh, the guy in front of me is shooting. It's not going to hit me. No, these shots can still hit you pretty, pretty easily. Honestly, it's kind of terrifying. You don't ever want to be the fool who gets caught with your pants on the ground because you think that you're going to block it. And we have to take that. Yeah, we're definitely taking bloody crown. That gives us item rooms and shops in the womb, which is insane. I feel like there's also a like there's the satanic crown or whatever it is that gets you the item room and shop in shield and the other one that gives it to you in cathedral but none of them are as good as womb because there are two womb floors and if there's even a curse of the xl womb floor you're still gonna get two item rooms which is awesome this i mean honestly these xl floors haven't been a bad the only issue with them oh this is actually awesome the only issue with them is they do make it so i get less shops which is not ever is too fun also means less devil deals especially right now this is unfortunate because since we did get the first deal and we only got a deal last floor that means we have the lowest possible deal for this entire floor which kind of sucks i'm just gonna use two of diamonds i know that might have been a waste but trust the process the idea right now is that ooh, thanks for not hitting us the idea right now is that what we're gonna do is use the full card to go into boss rush and to get an item for free now, I don't think there's ever a time that you should do boss rush fully if you already have the completion mark. Honestly, you should only go in there and get the free items because it's unnecessary damage. Like, sure, you could just, like, can't just full complete it. Like, I sometimes go and do it for fun, but, like, there's no reason to do it. Like, if you're trying to go to a certain boss and you get to, like, deaths too, like, pretty early, every single time, get the full card, get something. Even the Emperor card is fine. Get something and just go in there and get the free item because it, it has crazy items in there like you can find like um jacob's ladder you can find soy milk you can find polyphemus like you can find any like super high tier item in there that's what we're looking for and i would honestly do hush this run if i found it because uh with the shield you can actually block uh the, the continuum tiers very easily which makes your life very easy I know that was a lot of me saying easy, but it's true. Trust. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. You know what they said? They said that back in the in the Tinkerbell show. Do you guys watch the Tinkerbell show? Like, I didn't. I'm a manly boy. Just kidding. I mean, I didn't ever watch the show just because I don't know, know when it was on. Whenever I watched TV when I was young, I never knew it was going to be on. I just watched TV and hoped something good was going to be on. My brother and I's TVs both connected to each other. So no matter what, we had to be watching the same thing. And so usually it was Disney Channel. And whenever JetX combined with Disney Channel to first form Disney XD, Disney XD was always on. Ooh, I like that a lot. Thank you. And am I going to be able to get to the... Ooh, thank goodness that this is the item room. Are we going to be able to get to the boss fight in time? Okay, I don't know how that hit me, but I'm okay with that. You know? We're okay. Uh, Beezlebub, we don't care about you. We do have Spider Baby, which doesn't count towards Beezlebub, which sucks. Okay, what's hitting me right now? I think that just slightly hit me from the side. Or did I get hit by... I think I got hit by blood. That's probably what happened. Uh, we're just going to do this. Blow it up. Hope for anything. That's fine. And right now, we can go as fast as we want through the floor. Because our goal is to use uh, Fool. So, like, it doesn't matter if we miss anything. Like, we're just trying to go straight to the, the boss fight. And right now, it looks like we're not going straight to the boss fight. If I'm being honest, this is probably going to lead to a dead end. Or it's going to lead into the boss fight. Who knows? It might be a big loop eat as well. We do like big loops. And I cannot lie. 
But yeah, we'll be we'll be back here very soon, like just because of the full card. So we don't need to like try to full clear right now. We'll full clear after. We have time to full clear way later on in life. Okay, can't do that. I wish it'd be kind of cool. Okay, I don't know how I got hit. I don't know. A lot of these hits that are happening right now, it's like. Let me let me explain this. One reason why I don't like the shield, right? It's because the shield blocks a lot of tears very well. But there's also some times where you think it's going to block something, but you get hit. So, like, the only reason I'm getting hit is because I'm not dodging. I'm not dodging because I feel like I don't have to. But it, do it doesn't have, like, it, it's it's a lot skinnier than your than your hitbox. And so if anything gets slightly to the side of it, it's going to hit you and do damage, which can be bad. Okay, and this is not fun. I hate when I'm trying to go to boss rush just because, you know, I'm here early. And it takes forever. Like, we've been here for what? 27.3 years like this is as long as Matthew McConaughey was on that tidal wave island if you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about I will say uh, interstellar overhyped I don't know if other people agree with that but I just think it's very overhyped for what it is like it's a cool movie I'll say that like I do like space I do like all of that like I love astronauts I love space I love that but like certain movies like that just kind of like give me like weird feelings and I'm like I don't know about that you know I don't know if I like that as much like cool interesting idea concepts are there I like the concepts they're very cool if I if I missed out by like three seconds I'm gonna be mad why would I miss out by three seconds because I went back and grabbed the eternal heart I've also done a bunch of stuff this floor that I probably didn't have to uh that would instantly kill the boss but I think we're fine actually no we were very much not fine unless I go crazy Okay, so this is what we do. We go, we go, we go, we go. We got almost no time. We waste all of our money. We waste all of our money. It's all good. This is what money's for, guys. This is what money's for. This is what money's for. Go, 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 go. Come on, please, 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 please. Let's go! <laughs> and that's why we love this item that I've never taken in my life. <laughs> Okay, so the question is, do we want Explosivo? Answer is probably no. Um, we definitely don't want Giant Cell. Giant Cell is bad. That does get us closer to Beezle Bub. Um, we're not really close to anything right now. So, like, these are all bad items. Like, I kind of don't even want any of them. But you know what? Since we're close to Beezle Bub, we might as well take this, get out of here. Let's go find the shop. The shop is, like, 1 million percent going to be... I guess we don't even have money. It's just going to be under this room. It's going to be right here. There's like no other room it really could have been in. Because the shop's not going to be connected to multiple rooms. So it's not going to like be in some like weird elbow room where we haven't explored yet. So it kind of has to be right here. So let's check it. Oh no. We're so close to Beezlebub. So we're going to get it. Interesting. Okay. Man, if only we didn't waste as much money as we did. <laughs> okay, so this is the idea. Uh, we have a lot of red heart health. I'm going to do some risky stuff. But wh what I want to do... Ooh, okay, this is actually good. This is actually good. Okay, so what we do is we come all the way down here, right? I probably could have waited to use the two of diamonds card. But like we were literally like three seconds away from not getting into boss rush. Which wouldn't have been the worst thing. But we take the devil card with us, right? The devil card gives us flight for 30 seconds. So we got to be a little careful. Um, you can't lose flight while you're in a room, luckily. I think. I'm pretty sure you might be able to. But we're just going to try to donate as much health as we can to the blood donation machine. And since we do have Swallowed Penny, uh, we should be getting anywhere from like 10 to 20 cents from this right now. So let's use it. Because Swallowed Penny is the best. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be careful. Nice. Okay, we are going to take this instead of the other item and like, okay, we just got super lucky with this. Um, I'm pretty sure, pretty positive that the only reason we got this golden coin was due to um, Swallowed Penny. I don't think that the donation machine can drop it. Maybe it can. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably wrong. But yeah, we just lost flight, so we can lose flight in a room. Okay, I was, I was trying to be careful about that and not ever fly over the spikes. Because if I were to die right there, it would have been for me walking on the spikes, not over-donating. 
What else do I have? I can see forever. So you know what? I'm gonna full explore this floor real quick. That way I can go get all the health. I think I'm also gonna take pay to win. I don't think we need more red heart health. Maybe we do. Who knows? I take a lot of damage. But we can also, you know, we'll just go everywhere. We don't, we don't mind. And we like a little boss fight. That's not bad. But yeah, we are gonna get Beezlebub in a second, which is awesome. We also have Spider Baby's awesome. It, it, we have a lot of spiders. I think that was because I think Spider Baby is whenever you take damage. It is when you take damage because Spider Revenge Baby. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Maggie's Faith. I don't need Swallowed Penny anymore. I really don't need Swallowed Penny anymore. What the heck? Okay, where's the the secret room? Like we used, we used the pill way back over there. Like we should have found it by now. If the super secret room is off this right here, I was gonna say I would be surprised, but it could have been. But yeah, if you ever try to do the strat of getting to boss rush like early and like doing it and using the full card, just disregard everything on the floor and just try to go straight for the boss fight. Now, if I would have grabbed the map early, I probably would have been able to find where the boss fight was a little easier. Because, like, right here, if you look at the map, the only spots that the boss fight could have been are pretty much bottom, like where the boss fight is, top left, or maybe off the big room to the bottom right. Now, I wouldn't think it was top right, most likely, because, I don't know, that's like, I would be like super, I think it, like, that's just like a kind of weird. I should, probably would not have guessed that. Maybe I would have. But my, I usually think that boss fights are usually to like the bottom left. That's my like my instinct usually. If my instinct is not always correct, it usually is wrong. But it seems like nine times out of ten, it's gonna be bottom left. But what's cool is we do get Diplo. Okay, wait. What's cool is we get Diplo. Well, let me get all the way down here. But yeah, getting Swallowed Penny from that shopkeeper was probably more valuable than anything else we could have gotten from that. A nickel would not have been cool. And look at this. Okay, that the reason I was like, I was like, I don't know what other trinket we need to take. If we don't take Bloody Crown, it makes uh, Pay to Win useless. That's why I'm taking it. But not because it's gonna make it useless. But this does give us Beazle Bub, which gives us flying, which could have, which put put it could have been nice earlier. Uh, but I will also buy you. Justice is awesome. I'm gonna hold this. Uh, as you guys saw yesterday, if you guys watched, if you hold Justice until the chest floor, it makes it makes it so you will only get chests that will spawn items when you go to the chest, which is awesome. And if you use it on uh, Dark Room, it also do the same thing. But let's grab our items real quick. Only reason I didn't grab this, I could have grabbed it. it didn't really matter. I was just like, eh, no reason to take it. I, I, that's just like a, a small little time waste. Cause you can miss you can miss boss rush by like. A millisecond. Anyways, we start with Curse of the Blind. We get some more bad trinkets. I mean, all we really want. Like, we have everything that we need right now. Like, we are kind of set. So, I'm happy about this. Now, sadly, we do... What the heck? This is the same room. We do have Pay to Win right now, which allows us to reroll items. But we also have Curse of the Blind. So, we don't even know what items we have to choose from, that is. But we do have flying. I forgot about that. I don't know why. I'm so bad at dodging the spider. It's so easy to dodge. Like, this is th the general rule. Ooh, okay, one sec. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. The general rule is if the spider jumps to the side, you just move up or down. If the spider moves up or down, you just move to the side. It's that easy. But me, I see spider jump toward me to side. I say, ooh, let me sidestep and just dodge no that's not how it works the spider usually jumps from one side of the room to the other so honestly moving towards the spider is probably an easier way to dodge than moving away from the spider but easiest thing is like if spider's moving down this way you just move straight up anytime it's moving any direction to the side you just move up or down so in di diagonal down you move just straight up that's that easy the reason i say it's that easy is because i'm bad at doing it so like it's it's not it's hard it's hard to get your brain wrapped around sometimes I do like this. Okay, thank you. I could go get the red heart health that's over there, but I like living on the edge. You know, I'm a little risky, risky person. I'm, I'm, I like taking risks sometimes, every once in a while, as they say. So we'll see how this goes. And hopefully we get something good off the rip in the item room. If, hopefully we don't get Isaac's heart. If we get Isaac's heart, that wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Definitely wouldn't be the best thing ever, though. And look at that. Now we have some health in there. What's cool about having a rotten heart in a bone heart 
is it a rotten heart does count as half a heart but you can never lose a bone heart and a red heart at the same time and so you can't lose a red like a red heart that's not in a bone heart container before you lose the bone heart so you only lose the half a heart so you kind of get like a little bit of extra health when you have a bone heart it's nice nothing that made sense but basically the process of losing health always has to go red heart bone heart See, I just moved away again from the spider. It goes red heart, bone heart, red heart container. Just, just remember that. Okay, shot speed down. You can't bring us any lower, loser. Okay, punching bag is actually lame. And if we get Curse the Blind again, I'm going to be so mad. Honestly, if, if we get Curse the Blind again, we might do a week of no curses. <laughs> I swear. Just doing a week of no curses would be so nice. Because I don't know. It's just like, it just takes the fun out of the game. It doesn't even add like add any like extra like skill that you need to win like i can i can win this game with my eyes closed like that's what i'm doing right now just kidding i can't i cannot win this game with my eyes closed that's a figure of speech that's a hyperbole okay let's just not get over to you i wish i don't know never mind we don't have the we don't have the shot speed down trinket i thought we still had it for some reason but i don't understand why that doesn't give you um thank you I don't know why it doesn't give you uh, Spectral Tears. Very wild. But hello, my man. Namaste. JK. Nama go. <laughs> okay, so there is a shop on this floor. I need to go look for that. Not that there's going to be anything too crazy in there. But I really hope I... Actually, no, I'm going to get an Angel Deal this floor. Dang. The, I don't know. Where do... Ooh, okay, never mind. I was like, I'm going to Diplo in the Angel Deal no matter what, but no. What I'm going to do is something that might be even stupider. But I'm going to wait to Diplo until chest. Why? Because that allows me to double all the chests. It's like it's pretty much using it as a Yera, but it's, it's an okay use, I think. You know what? We're just going to fight Daddy Long Legs, aka one of my least favorite bosses in the game. Um, the reason why it's one of my least favorite bosses, I've talked about this before. Is because when it stomps, like if, if you kill Daddy Long Legs, its feet can stomp post mortem. It's kind of crazy. I don't know if that's an intended mechanic, but it's awful. And also, the feet don't stomp in a specific direction. It's kind of like Isaac's Holy Lights. They, they're very, very random, and you kind of have to like to watch for where they're going to go down. But if you're already moving and it's like it like telefrags you, there's not much you can do. But here we go. Okay, that's actually close to having something good. That's only habit. That's actually good. We got habit. I'm glad we got that of all things. And let's just get to the next floor. If it's Curse of the Blind, I'm literally going to blow a gasket. But it's fine, you know? Okay, Curse of the Maze. That's fine. We're okay with that. And God fan? Okay, never mind. I'm sorry I ever talked bad about Isaac's Tomb. That's why we got... Okay, Isaac's Tomb is the best. I've never gotten this lucky, though. I feel like this is crazy Isaac's Tomb luck because usually I get soul hearts. I feel like one of the last times I had it, Literally, all I got was soul hearts, back to back to back. Like, every floor is just soul hearts. I was like, is this all it gives you? I'm like, that's kind of cool, I guess. Three soul hearts is nice. It's kind of weird. <clears throat> and watch this. Pro strat. We take tapeworm. Um, the reason we're taking that is because we no longer need bloody crown. Because it takes effect as soon as you get to a floor. It, can no, it can't, like, revert the, its actions, like... It's not like the item rooms are just going to disappear because I set it down. No, it's still here. That's just how the how it works. So as soon as you get to, like, Cathedral and you have, like, the light, the, the Crown of Light trinket or whatever it is. I know it's not Crown of Light. I know that's the item. I just don't know what it's called. Like, just drop it as soon as you get there. I mean, you don't need to. There's no reason to drop it. But if you find another trinket, just swap it out. It's that easy. No reason to keep stuff. I am not paying out that beggar right now. I will pay it out at some point if I... If there's nothing in the shop. But I want to go to the shop first. I, the reason I didn't go to the last shop is because... No matter what, I didn't really care what was in there. Because I'm not going to buy a random item. And I'm also not going to... I mean... I mean, I don't know. There's like some stuff I could have bought in there. Let me just be smart about this. One sec. Are you wizard? Nope. Not me. And some Torium's kind of garbage. Actually, very garbage. I don't need an active item right now. Tough Love's okay, but we don't have that high of a luck stat. And right now, since this is an extra item room, I might as well go all out. Go crazy. Ship tube's really not that decent. I do not like Bump Friend. Bump Friend's worse than Bumbo, if you guys don't know. And Mysterious Liquid is insane. That, there was also Forget Me Now, which would have been cool, 
but it would have been kind of useless because it would have made it so we had to drop Diplo. I'm not going to drop Diplo ever. You can't make me. But Mysterious Liquid is actually insane. Before we do the boss fight, I am going to go and get the shop. I know we might lose our angel deal chance if I take any red heart damage. So that's a risk I'm going to have to be willing to take. Also, look how OP we are now. Like, Mysterious Liquid's super, super strong. If only we had, uh, like, the spider sack baby that, or the, the thing that made, spi like, spiders friendly, that'd be nice. I don't even know what it's called. I don't know. I don't know what anything in this game is called. I don't know why anybody regards me as somebody who plays this game at any capacity. I don't even regard myself as a Binding of Isaac player. I'm just somebody who... Who, who does does things in this game and sometimes plays well it's all luck though this game is mostly rng like to get like crazy crazy runs it is rng but like to win a run there is skill i will say that but i'm not gonna say that like like if you lose a run that's a skill issue it's really not it can be for some like with Tana Jacob, it can be a skill issue, but it's a really hard skill issue. Like, it's not a skill that lots of people have. Like, it's common to have that skill issue. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, but I don't need any of this. Uh, the unicorn horn is not my favorite. Okay, we, we don't get shops. Wait, what? I thought that bloody crown gave us shops. Maybe it's only the shield one and the cathe cathedral one that give you shops as well. I feel like there's a tinted rock in here. Godspan always makes me have, like, worse vision. I swear. Um, but we will look for the secret room. It can't be where I thought it was going to be. So hopefully, it's going to be right here. I don't even know if this is possible. It's not. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. Wait, well, it kind of was possible. And I'm not going to pay you out. You know what? We don't need more health. We don't need you. And it can be in this room. And it can't be in this room. But it can't be in this room either. Tinted rock, tinted rock. If I miss a tinted rock, it happens. Um, honestly, it could be here. Nice. Okay. Sweet. We are going to need all these keys. Just saying. We need all these keys for once we get to chest. We're going to have dummy amounts of chests. Because we're going to have anywhere from three to five, I think it is. Okay. Uh, scapegoat actually makes this a lot harder for me. Um... We're gonna have anywhere from like three to five. Okay, I don't know how I took damage. Three to five chests that spawn from the justice card. So if we get five, that means there's gonna be a total of nine chests in there, which means we're gonna have 18. So like, we almost don't have enough keys, which is crazy. Look at this, we're awesome. Luckily, she never shoots brimstone out in a, cro in a cross pattern. It's only in like an X pattern, which makes your life a little easier. And no angel deal, which kind of blows. But now we don't have to care about what how much health we have or if we lose red heart health. All we care about is winning game. So like we don't want to lose health, but it's not the end of the world if we do. Um, some more kind of whack trinkets. Flat penny is not the worst. Uh, we really don't need you. And lucky rock is not really. I mean, we don't need money at this point. Like sure we could get money. Uh, money equals power. But like, are we gonna get that? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say no. We're not gonna get that. But you know what? I respect Isaac's Tomb for doing what it did. And ooh, we, okay, we're actually gonna need 20 keys. I just thought about that. Why do we need 20 keys? Because there's also gonna be an Isaac's Tomb chest, so we can multiply that as well. So you know what? We might as well take, we might as well take this. And we don't even need pay to win. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay, sweet. And why am I even trying to block right now? Like, look at this. I just walk up to these guys. They can't even shoot me. Wait, what? Okay, never mind. They can't shoot me. Apparently, they have like. Wait, do Spectral Tears go through shields? Ooh, is that a thing? That's kind of sick if that's a thing. At the same time, it's kind of terrifying. I hate the ghost so much. Okay, thank you. We do get Golden Bombs, which is really cool. But let me go back and, like, not take... Let's not take Pay to Win. Pay to Win's not useful. Just not good in general for us right now. Or for the rest of the run. It's really just not useful. Um, we are okay with this money because it gives us keys. Now we, I mean, we have good keys. That's what I like right now is we have good keys, which makes our life a little easier. But I am a little concerned. I'm not going to lie. This Isaac fight is going to be a little hard because what hits me the most in Isaac fights are the beams of the crack the sky, like beams, whatever they're called. Those things are violent. They're very awful. And so if those hit me, 
That's very bad. But I should be okay against tears, because like tears shouldn't be able to hit me, but also Isaac does have spinny tears of death. And spinny tears of death are hard. They're hard to deal with. I do think the Isaac fight's gonna be this way. I should have a feeling. Okay, don't hit me. Ooh, don't hit me. And scapegoat is so scapegoat is one of those enemies. It's like the same thing. I was talking about fear shots either yesterday, the day before, something. I was talking about it recently. But people don't like fear shots because it changes the behavior of enemies. And changing the behavior of enemies is hard for you. And so what's hard about scapegoat is you don't know ever if they're gonna go for scapegoat or if they're gonna go for you. Like right there, I thought they were gonna go for scapegoat. So I could have just stood still and just gotten hit because I thought they were gonna go for scapegoat. So you like you have to be like extra on edge. Because, like, especially with, like, the eyes in the mother fight, Scapegoat was making the eyes shoot, like, ahead of me. So I almost got hit a few times. Very scary. Did not like it. Not at all. And I know, Tinted Rock, I see it. I sometimes do have eyes. Don't you guys worry. Of course, we are just going to blow up all these. If you ever don't blow up a blue flame whenever you have unlimited bombs, I might have skipped a couple blue flames because I'm kind of illiterate in the visual sense. Don't skip them. No reason to. Okay, you are you are going crazy right now, and I don't know if I appreciate it. Okay, scapegoat, you are you are dead as a doornail, doornail, doorknob, whatever it's called. If you were to take damage, I love this. I love this journey for us. Honestly, so good. And all we need right now, all we really need, <laughs> it's just anything. We just need we just need to get to the end of this floor. That's all I care about. Like we're gonna be so op. We're about to get 18, or maybe 18 items. Now, could we get less? Yes. Could we get more? I don't think so. I think the most we can get is five chests. But we're going to get, like, about 10 items. Most likely, an about 10 is a good guess. Maybe 12. Maybe 12 is a better guess. Actually, yeah. It's, it's going to be at least, like, actually, I'm going to say at least 14. We also will have the uh, Isaac's Tomb Chest, which is, could also be an item, so who knows? I could also just decide right now to only take double quarter. But let's do this fight. We should be fine. We got a lot of extra health. I can, I could just stand here now if I really want to. I could just stand really close. Honestly, the, the closer you stand, the worse, honestly, because they just phase through your shield. Never mind. But hey, damage is okay because it gives us more reason to live and gives, gives us more damage. Well, but yeah, today on stream, I did play the new I Rule fan game, which is the Binding of Isaac, like, Plants vs. Zombies crossover type of thing, where it's Binding of Isaac, Plants for, Plants vs. Zombies. So there's nothing about Plants vs. Zombies. It's, like, the play style. So you have the lanes. You put stuff down. You put, like, different plants down. You have Little Chub instead of, like, the Sun of Flowers. It's a very cool game. You've probably seen everybody who plays Isaac playing it right now. It was very fun. I did really well. I actually, like, got to my second loop on my first try, but then kind of, like, Kind of gave up, but also like started doing really bad on the second loop because it got hard. But here we go. Are you guys ready for this? So that means, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, I like this. Um, that is spun. So that's good damage. Dang. Oh my gosh, these are like the worst possible items we could be getting right now. Like, it doesn't get much worse than this. It really doesn't get, it really does not get much worse than this. Luckily, we do get to go to Mega Stand if we really want to. But this is like, if you ask me to, if you ask me to name like the top worst items in this game, this would be it. Like these items right here. But you know what? We touch everything, we grab everything, because we aren't wimps. We are gamers to the core. <laughs> and yes, since we're gamers to the core, we go all the way. I like it. Ooh, we do have creep bombs as well. I did not think about that. Awesome. I can see forever is really good. What I will do is I think if we pop this now, it'll leave this door unlocked. And Lost Soul. Okay, well, you're coming with us. I was going to leave you behind, but I guess not anymore. Ooh, and enemies do explode into tears, but they don't hurt us, luckily. I mean, look how much damage we do. I could just start use start using pinging shears. I don't think I need to or anything. Oh, well, there's Lost Soul dead. If I really need to, I could. But yeah, the, the tears you see shooting out from enemies are from the, like, the weird vein item that's right here in the second row. 
they only do damage to the enemies, not to us. So they kind of are very confusing to look at. Yeah. Oh, if we could get Ipecac. If we got Ipecac right now, or we got uh, Bob's, rotten, Bob's Rotten Head, we would have the Bob Transformation. I don't know if I've ever gotten the Bob Transformation. So this, this is this is revolutionary, what could happen right now. Okay, can you chase at me, please? Eat my dirt. Okay. Ooh, so much damage. Ooh, more chest. Ooh. I like how I was like, if I get money equals power, that's the only reason we need money. We did get money equals power, which is cool. We don't need it. I mean, it does help. The It's kind of weird how the damage works with uh, Dr. Fetus. If you ever look at it, the way it works is like, if you have a, if you have a certain amount of damage, it's like a flat amount of damage. Unless you have a certain amount of damage, then you get like a crazy damage multiplier. It's really weird. Like, you either have, like, really good damage, or you have, like, just completely dummy insane damage. It's, like, 20 million times more than the base damage it has. So, I think it's either 30 damage, or it's, like, your tiers plus 4 times 5. Or your tiers plus 5 times 4. Something crazy like that. It's, like, a really, really weird, like, metric. Well, luckily, we do get to do me What? We do get to do Mega Stand, which should be really easy for us, especially since we have Pinging Shears. Pinging Shears is going to take care of the hands for us. It's gonna take care of like any of the like the smaller bosses really quickly. Ge just generally, it's gonna be good. And I don't think, I definitely don't think that this is a delirium run. I mean, I feel like we could do delirium, but that scares me. And you know what? Virus isn't too bad. We still just have a dumb amount of damage. And our range is actually kind of perfect for this. I know we are hitting the the boss, so it's like stopping right at the boss but still it was going it was kind of stopping like slowing down right when it needed to that was nice i'm still looking for bob's run head if we can get bob's run head like i want it so bad like that's the only reason i would go to delirium right now is to try to get bob's run head okay die will you ever die is the question um we still have a lot of keys i feel like our diplo strat was a cool idea like, in theory, but in practice, it just kind of flopped hard. If anything gets close to us, it's kind of dead. The only thing I can make this, like, this weird, like, up-close just destruction build better is if we had uh, 120 volt. I think just, if they got close to us, they would just almost immediately die. And that door did stay open. I always forget how it works. Sometimes there's, like, I don't think there's ever items that don't leave the door open, but I always think that there are. Which messes with my brain. Okay, I, I have fly and I keep forgetting that. So I need to be careful. I mean, I don't need to be as careful. I keep trying to like avoid the, my own toxic sludge. And it's not even hurtful to me. But there is creep that will hurt me. Because those guys do have red creep every once in a while. Ooh, almost all, all guys in one foul swoop. Please. Okay, you know what? Not bad. That does give us a slight damage up. Not too shabby. Please a chest. Please a chest. No chest. Okay. Well, we'll do Mega Stand now. See how it goes. And this is another fast run. Kind of impressive. We've we've been having some really, really stellar runs lately. And, like, there was nothing in particular that was super OP about this one. It was just that since we kept on getting XL floors, is XL floors are kind of just so much faster. Cause like once you find the boss fight, you find both both boss fights. So like if you find the boss fight in two minutes, like that means you you finish two floors essentially in two minutes, which is insane. And you know what? We actually getting a Bob's or Bob's curse is what it's called. I think it's really cool. It does make us have all this like poison damage in the air, which means we do just that extra little amount of damage that really just helps us out. And Pinging Shear, Pinging Shear's range is kind of like really bad. I don't know what happened to it, but like you have to be really close to an enemy for it to actually attack. Like, uh, like watch this. You see this? You should be attacking now, right? Ooh, okay. That was a cool way to dodge the attack. If you just go head on into it, you can't, you can't die. Facts. 
Let's not get hit by you. I really wish we could have gotten Bob's Run Head. You can get Bob's Run Head from a, an Ultra Sloth. Actually, no. You can get Bob's Run Head from a uh, regular Sloth, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember. You get Bob's Curse from one of them and Bob's Run Head from another one. Just try to remember that. There was a seed that uh, for one of the uh, speedrunning tournaments that we held that if you killed, there was a room with two sloths and two ultra sloths, both of them. Depending on which one you killed last would like would change which item you got. And so if you killed, I mean, the one that gives you Bob's Curse last, you'd get Bob's Curse. But then, like, you really wanted Bob's Curse. So if you accidentally got Bob's Run Head, it wouldn't, like, ruin the run, but it would make it a lot harder. But there we go. Very cool. Very sick nasty. Sadly, we don't have Lost Soul. I miss Lost Soul a lot. He was my best of friend. Best of friend? Best of friends? I don't even know. But look at this. Do you guys see all the damage this is doing? Like, those clouds are just adding just, like that extra bit of damage right now. That's just really huge. Because any sort of damage we can deal, especially to somebody with so much boss armor, is nice. Because there's just like this constant like small take of damage that makes sure that every moment we're getting some damage in. So even though there's boss armor, there's still big damage going through. And he is already in like his halfway phase, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's like way close to death. He's pretty much dead, actually. I don't know how many different like broken phases there are. I've never really paid attention. I think there's like three. Because right now he's like in like the full like I'm actually about to die mode. And there we go. There he is, done. And we don't get the delirium portal. I swear. If we had a tally that showed how many times we did and didn't get the Delirium Portal on Mega Stance specifically, I feel like it would be way, way <coughs> under 50%. I feel like we only get it like 5% of the time. That might be a, a like exaggeration, but I feel like we are more likely to get it on Blue Baby. We've gotten on Blue Baby a lot more than we should, I feel like. But anyways, that right there was the run. That was win at number 64 in a row. So if you guys did enjoy that video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Helps my channel grow. I've been having a lot of fun with this. I'm trying to get back on my grind as best as possible. It's just, it's just hard. It's just, it's mainly procrastination. It's not hard. It's just if I put the work in, it's easy. If I don't put the work in, it's hard. So that's what you guys need to do. Put your work in. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. So as always, guys, it's been Preets. Peace out. Bye.